the rules today, the 10-point must system and scoring, scoring done by two judges and the referee. The three knockdown rule, in effect, despite the fact that it's a championship fight, a new rule recently adopted by the WBA. The mandatory eight count, of course. No standing eight count unless the fighter is helpless on the ropes. No saving by the bell. The ring is a good size ring, 20 feet. But that doesn't really matter here. In fact, it's slightly larger than 20 feet. I paced it off because neither of these men will be using the ring. At least nothing in their history indicates that they would. The bell now for round one, the referee Stanley Christodoulou of South Africa, a veteran who refereed Belinda's fight against Richie Cates in Johannesburg in May of 76. Belinda's usually a slow starter. Let's see if he changes this time. He tries to go to the belly. He is a punishing punch. His left hook can be tremendous. First round action. The judges, Waldemar Schmidt of Puerto Rico, Jesus Celi of Venezuela. So the officials should be the Galindas is like. Christodoulou, for instance, in the Cates bout, gave Galindas a long delay after Cates had butted him savagely in the third round. And Galindas came on to win by a knockout in the 15th. A quick left sharp jab. Rossman's jab stings. It has strength behind it. It is not a little flick. A jab up in the area of the eyes where Rossman will concentrate. First round action, the beginning of things, a minute 45 left. of young Mike Ross. Your concentration, Melinda, squat, stocky, powerhouse body. End of the round coming up. Just sounded the first round cautious. These two men with too much respect for one another to gamble in the early going, not in the wake of their brawl of last September 15th. But in fairness, Mike Rossman getting the left in occasionally as he did just that. And if the round was to go to anybody and not be called even, it would seem to me it would have gone to Mike Rossman. This second round action. Good right in there by Galindez on the inside. 43 times, 136, 23 by Chaos, lost four, drawn three times. Melinda, who had 10 successful title defenses before he lost to Rossman, one of the great of recent light heavyweights. Melinda's there with the left, has been to the well 67 times, 154 with 33 Chaos, lost seven, drew four, two no decision. So the nuts and bolts of the contest, all now before you. Round two. I'd like to alert our stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll be providing a station break. Crowd yelling.
held more than Rossman's blow was worth. It actually landed on Galindez's right arm. Rossman getting the left in, up in the eye area, which is what he wants to do. Galindez. Galindez there, going to the belly. Rossman with a good right to the head. But that's what Galindez really figures on doing in this fight. Just giving it to Rossman in the stomach, wearing him down. Is a tremendous body puncher. better of it with a sharp right that landed. These two men are hitters, aren't they? See Victor going down to the midriff. There can be no question that Galindas is in far better condition for this fight than he was last September. As we're coming closer to the end of round two. fighting with purpose knowing his fight plan we'll return with more of ABC's wide world of sports after this from our local stations subjective scoring I scored the second round even Belinda started connecting to the belly that's what Rossman has to watch out for Rossman still getting the left in to the face, but no touch yet on Galindez. Third round action. You can read the respect these men have for each other. Quality fighters, the WBA light heavyweight championship at stake. Galindez after it. No light heavyweight has ever recaptured a crown. Time the heavyweights had that history. Patterson changed that, and Ali changed it twice. Osman <laughs> getting the left in. Caution from. Christodoulou, Stanley Christodoulou, the referee of South Africa, telling Mike Rossman to get those blows up. In fact, there were two that were low, or at least looked low. Mike with a good quick combination. Shot, direct punches. Lindez now doing what he wants to do with Rossman. Get him against the ropes. Work the belly. Get up to the head. Out muscle. Marlon. Galindez gets Rossman against the ropes. Watch his shoulders. Galindez, after a right lead, left himself open. That's the danger of a right lead. And Rossman was quick with the left and then the right. The left into the face again. Again, third round action. with the left. Coming down to the end of round three, the lower right hand corner evidence is that. Nobody has really broken through yet. Punished the other man. you between rounds this time take a gander again at some of the action in the round there's the bell for round three there is Galindez and his corner being worked over now let's look at it you saw that quick combination that I referred to the left and the right but Galindez not connecting with that left that left a little short the right into the kidneys that hurts and then the left caught Rossman and Galindez had Rossman where he wanted him but Rossman away from the ropes tied him up 
as we said again, Carl, Victor Delindez, the face of a fighter. Forget the round girl. Quite a record he compiled until Rossman tagged him, wasn't it? And in Galindez's corner, Tito Lecturi, Roberto Galindez, Oscar Rodriguez. In Rossman's corner, Slim Robinson, his trainer, Eddie Aliano, his cut man, and his brother Andy Rossman. The bell now. Round four action begins. A long right that connected after a left lead had connected. Galindez dropped his gloves and backed off for just a second. Somehow he seems startled by the length of that right. Stanley Christodoulo, Republic South Africa, the referee. 16 years he's been a referee. Rossman straight up. Straight ahead. The left is principal instrument. Set up the right. Punching right by Rossman. Galindez trying to get inside, and Galindez's head snapped back by that Rossman right. Reach edge with Mike Rossman. Galindez wants to get inside and use that body strength of his. the man wanting to leave himself open too much respect for the other in the length of that left meanwhile galindez's lefts are not quite reaching the opponent or if they do they are picked off in the main he was not staggered by a blow. The crowd misread it. He was off balance. Galindez was. Rossman has Galindez directly above us. And Galindez got in a left to Rossman and stung him. Galindez appearing wild in his movements, but still effective because of his body strength. Got to always be careful. Good Galindez left and another left. to the kidneys and they hurt take, take them turn on a fighter wear them down fourth round action and we're not that far away from the end of the round Lindes again with the right into the midsection or the side and the kidneys really Coming to the end of round four. A tough round, a good left and a right. A right up got hurt Rossman and Galindez is hurting Rossman. What an ending to the round. The fight is not stop fighting. And at the very end of the round, Galindez unquestionably hurt Rossman. First with a left and then a strong right up cut. And you see the scene in the ring as hard feelings flare. And the man in Galindez's corner coming to get at Rossman, blaming Mike for the activity that occurred after the bell had rung. Let's look at it in slow motion. Now watch this action. You saw that left, that hurt him, another left, right. Rossman trying to hold on, and there was the uppercut, and Galindez, at the end of the round, had taken command. Now watch what happens. Galindez starts arguing with a fan. That's Andy Rossman, Mike's brother who came into the ring. So Mike went after Galindez. And now it's round five, and we've got a wild scene and the makings of another brawl. Galindez becomes the aggressor. He is tigerish. A wild left missed. and more effectively than he fought at any time last September. Rossman's face is red from the blows he took at the end of the fourth round. Rossman, at this 
point in time must be careful. He must keep his composure. He must forget the altercation with the brother Andrew. The crowd is on its feet as Melinda has Rossman again against the ropes. Tremendous power in it. He destroyed Jorge Almada with it. Richie Cates with it. Others with it. This is coming to you live from the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. And suddenly a turn in the fight in the fourth round as Galindez began to take over. It came to the back of the head. Rossman just said to Chris Dodolo, have him stop it. He was butting, using the head. Sure. Melendez has always done that. The head, the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, everything. This is the fifth round. We almost had a melee here at the end of the fourth. in the fourth round, just before that action after the battle. A good left by Galindez. He is now getting that sweeping left hook in there. He's coming over. Rossman's right again, and you saw Rossman's head. Galindez making effective use of that left. A wild right miss. And Rossman grows more cautious. Galindez going down to the belly with the left. to a reasonable degree, though once it cost Galindez when Rossman counted very effectively. No change in Rossman's style, stance, posture. Straight up, trying to use that left. Ultimately set up the devastating right. But in the meantime, Galindez having the look of a sharp fighter. And once again, a very exceptional fighter way it was before last September. That right got in to Rossman. The Rossman effectively picked off the Lindis' earlier blows. The ultimate right got in. Mike is now feeling the kind of punishment the Lindis can render. Mike got in two quick left jabs. this fight progresses, if it does. A good right by Galindez, stinging Ross. Then condition becomes a factor, and maybe Rossman's youth will work for him. Maybe. Incidentally, in the interview, Mike said he thought it would. He also said he was going to do more body punching in this 
fight, but that has not been in evidence. This is the sixth round, and we are approaching the end of it. Now the end of the round at hand. Since Louisiana, now becoming a fine, exciting bout. Melendez, in my book, the winner of the last three rounds. Between rounds, they were rubbing down Melendez's left arm, and he was shaking it vigorously. He has been using it frequently and effectively. A sweeping left to sting Mike Ross. Mike Rossman with a good, quick uppercut. Stanley Christodoulou is the third man in the ring. 16 years a referee from South Africa. <laughs> Saw the right of Galindez and then the left. Mike Rossman at the moment, just at the moment, doesn't seem to have the spark could change at any time. A couple of quick, effective blows. Seventh round action. <laughs> Rossman's face into Galindez's shoulder, which in itself is dangerous. Melendez punching away on the inside, trying to get to the midriff. Melendez, a much more difficult target. There, Rossman's fans encouraged by two quick lefts. See, Galindez hold him with the left hand and maul him with the right. This is the way he becomes so effective when the referee does not interfere. Then with the weight of his body against the opponents, he's going to be worn down in that lead left of Galindez. Stun Rossman again. He is beating Rossman to the punch. And he is punching more effectively at this moment. And Rossman is trying to cover. And Galindez has him in the opposite corner when he uses that body screen and he gets the right in there tries to get a right uppercut then goes down to the belly with the right and the left and the right again and the punches go to the kidneys Rossman trying to cover Rossman holding on Galindez fighting Victor Galindez's fight as we approach the end of the seventh round New Orleans it's been a tremendous fight just before the last round ended what seemed to me to be a Rossman butt over Galindez's right eye opened a gash. It's been closed. That's the kind of thing we'll have to watch for as this fight gets down to its waning stages. Rossman's corner. He appeared tired, a bit discouraged, but was being enormously encouraged, as would be expected, by his handlers. round. Lindez, when he's right, a difficult talk. Those punches come from all over. Rossman started well enough in my book, winning the first and third rounds with the second round even. After that, it seems to me, Galindez has taken over the fight. Mike getting in a couple of lefts. Now Mike begins to score. Using his left more effectively in this round and then the right in combination. Fatigue showing in either fighter, and this 
is the eighth round that seems to me to be in Rossman. Yet blood is now coming out of Galindez's mouth. Remember, Rossman is eight years younger than Victor. Good left by Rossman. Good right by Galindez, and Rossman holds on. The right lead even being used now by Galindez and with perhaps increasing effectiveness. Maybe that fight Galindez had in Argentina after again Galindez scoring helped him a great deal. That's what he said in our interview through his interpreter. This crowd wildly excited over this fight and every reason to be. It started cautiously, but from the third round on, it's been steady, steady, steady fighting. And steady, steady, steady movement by Victor Galindez with his back now, Georgia. He began to take control of this fight as I see it in the fourth round. He's thrown punches from all over. The right lead has scored effectively. A sweeping left has stung Rossman. At the end of the fourth round, Rossman seemed to genuinely hurt. Then fisticuffs after the round, involving Victor Galindez and Mike's kid brother, and Rossman's going to come on. Now's the time to start doing it. Fight is broken by Krista Dulu, the referee. Notably, Mike has not been able to cut open Galindez's eyes, his most susceptible area. Good right by Rossman, and then a good left by Galindez. And a good right again by Galindez. That right getting in there now, more and more. Galindez providing a difficult target. Look at that wrong sweeping left, and Galindez right after him. Tigerish, as I said, pinning Rossman against the ropes. Galindez now fighting exactly the way he wants to fight. Rossman covering and not fighting back effectively. If events permit at the end of this round, let me alert our stations, there'll be a station break. If events permit, but with the action going this way, you can't tell. Difficult target, Galindez. He wraps himself up. The head is kept low. He can bob and weave. He moves those shoulders. And out of all of that harass comes a right like that. As I said, he punches from everywhere. Stunning performance by the veteran.
all of the extraneous events aside, Galindez took over this fight, fought his fight from the fourth round on. He was ready despite the eight years of age. Look at Mike Grossman right there. And you can see the chagrin written all over the lad's face. A fine young man, and it is the right hand. And they are feeling the upper part of it, above the knuckles. And that's obviously where the break took place. We will try to talk to Mike to find out how and when it happened. And certainly we want to talk to the again light heavyweight champion of the world. Now, let's look at the end of the last round. Let's see if we can detect anything. The left connected. There was the right he threw that connected. And then he fell forward. And it may have happened right there. So difficult to judge, but in any event, We've shown you the pictures at the end of the round. And when Mike came back, he was the picture of chagrin. As for Galindez, astride the shoulders of his fellow countrymen. Association.